I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I greet you in the name of Jesus, that wonderful and that precious name, the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I tell you, my dear friend, because of Jesus, because of what he has done in our lives, we can experience goodness and mercy all the days of our lives. We can experience tremendous blessing and life after death. Isn't that amazing? Life after death. You see, when you close your eyes in this realm, it is not the end. This time that we spend in this realm is but a small moment of the time that we're going to spend with God. But you must, while you're still in this realm, fulfill your purpose and destiny. So keep on pushing. Don't give up. Don't give in. The grace of God is always sufficient. And the good news is God is not done with you. As you know, my dear friend, today is Monday and on Monday we share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word for you that I know will bless you. As I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that the Lord gave me. Think and dream big. It's not over until God says it's over. The best is yet to come. You might feel down and out, but be encouraged because it's not the end. Jesus has made a way. Don't let the trials you faced or are currently facing discourage you, but rather let them take you closer to God. This season has been tough, but find your hope in Christ, because He is able to deliver you, and He will. God is beginning to do new things. Progress is yours in the name of Jesus. My dear friend, as the Lord spoke to me and gave me this word, He led me to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, from verse 8 to verse 11. And if you zoom in on the scripture, you see that it's so powerful. This is what it says. It says we are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus that the life of Jesus may also be manifest in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our mortal flesh. My dear friend, yesterday I shared on receiving life from Jesus through the full and finished work of the cross. And I prayed for you to receive life and life in abundance. And this continues on that. You see, I want to read it one more time and just break it down. It says we are hard pressed on every side. This shows us that trials will come. Situations that we might feel uncomfortable will come. The Bible says it, but the Bible goes on and it says, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecutions may come. It goes on and it says persecuted, but it ends off with saying, but not forsaken. Struck down. So there might be things that come your way. There might be situations that come your way that strike you down, but they will not destroy you because it goes on and it says, but not destroyed. Always carrying about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our mortal flesh. No matter what you may be going through, no matter how hard it may seem sometimes, don't give up, don't give in, don't let go of Jesus, and don't walk away from God because He won't walk away from you. Don't give up on God because He won't give up on you. Keep on going and don't give up. The best is yet to come. I tell you, my dear friend, there's going to come a time when our Lord Jesus Christ will come in glory. And that will be a great and magnificent day. There will be much rejoicing and celebrating amongst the saints. There will be much rejoicing and celebrating in all areas around the world amongst the believers. 
because they know our Savior, our leader, our Lord, our God has come to get us. And I tell you, my dear friend, we are going to have joy and happy times in the presence of God. And I tell you, my dear friend, we're going to have joy and happy times in the presence of God. So don't give up, don't give in, press on. God has good things in store for you and God will give you the divine ability to accomplish them. No matter how big the dreams and the plans that God has given you, don't be discouraged, don't give in. Keep on going, keep on pressing on in Christ and you will see how God will make what seems to be impossible in your eyes possible because we walk by faith and not by sight. In saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Take your cell phone and device, wherever you're watching me from, wherever you're listening to me, and just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God, and just open up your heart to Him. Just submit completely to Him. Let Him touch you, let Him heal you, let Him change you, and be expectant. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, we praise You. We thank You for another day that You've given us, and another week, a brand new week. We thank you for your grace that never runs out, your love that is so amazing. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. We thank you that even today that presence is with us. We thank you for the full and finished work of the cross. We thank you for Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for what you're going to do in my dear friend's life, my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter, wherever my dear friend is watching from. Thank you, Lord, for your grace that is sufficient, your grace in abundance, your grace that is released so that we can make it through. If it was not for your grace, for your love, for your mercy, for you first thinking about us, we wouldn't be able to be here seeking you and pressing on and receiving salvation in Christ. We give you praise and thank you for your grace that is released so that my dear friend can go to a greater glory. I thank you, Lord, that it is not by strength nor by power, but by your spirit. And I thank you, Lord, that we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, for this grace, that precious grace, that amazing grace that is so sweet. We give you praise and thank you for this in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit that is even here with us today. Thank you for your omnipotent, omnipresent Holy Spirit who is here right now when I'm recording this and is there right now as my dear friend is watching. Regardless of distance, regardless of time, I thank you, Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know like I know as we pray, God is going to bless you. Be expectant and open up your heart, submit to God and receive your miracle. Receive the hope in Christ. You know, in times like this, it is so essential that we don't harden our hearts, but rather that we get closer to God. You know, the biggest mistake we can make in times like this is moving away from God when our solution is in God, the solution to all our problems, salvation, deliverance, healing, breakthrough is in Christ and it is available to you. Open up your heart and receive. In saying that, we're going to begin to pray. As we begin to pray, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is just welcome the Holy Spirit in that place where you're watching. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and touch me. Help me to pray and help me to press in, even today. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement, and let us be in agreement all around the world. Wherever you're watching, connect in faith, believe and receive. The third thing, my dear friend, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is watching this video, begin to do what only you can do. In line with this prophetic word, Father, lift up my dear friend and encourage and boost my dear friend. Give my dear friend strength to keep on going because it is not by strength nor by might, but by your spirit. Strengthen my dear friend through your spirit. Help my dear friend in whatever my dear friend is facing right now by your spirit. And give my dear friend the hope that is available in Christ. The hope for a future. The hope for greater glories. The hope to break through and to press in. The hope to get deeper and closer to you. 
I thank you, Father, for what you're doing right now. If my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle, a sign, or a wonder this week, let a miracle, a sign, or a wonder happen so that my dear friend can know that Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, Jesus is the life. I thank you, Father, for this in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I bless you. Be blessed going in and be blessed coming out. Be blessed in all areas of your life. Be blessed and increase, even in Christ. May this week be a week of success, a week of productivity, a week of greater glories, a week of breakthrough, even in Christ, even as you have chosen Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Until tomorrow, my dear friend, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.